listen to these decrees tafadhali yasikizeni haya matangazo ya kiungo you will enjoy the blessing that is in them utafurahia baraka iliyo ndani yake listen please sikiza tafadhali and your life will never be the same again maisha yako hayatabaki jinsi alivyo i want us first read the book of job chapter 22 kwanza tusome kitabu cha Ayubu sura ya 22. Job Job chapter 22. Kitabu cha Ayubu sura ya 22. And verse 28. Amstari wa 28. Job chapter 22 and verse 28. Kitabu cha Ayubu sura ya 22 mstari wa 28. Please give us King James version then we come to that one. Tupatie Biblia ya King James. Yes. Job 22 verse 28 Kitabu cha Ayubu 22 mstari wa 28 Thou shalt also decree a thing Thou shalt also decree a thing Nawe utaweza kutangaza jambo And they shall be established unto thee Jambo hilo litadhibitika kwa ajili yako Thou shalt also decree a thing pia utaweza kulitangaza neno and it shall be established unto thee da hilo neno litadhibitika kwa ajili yako and the light shall shine upon thy ways na nuru itangaa kwenye njia yako you shall decree a thing utatangaza neno and it shall be established list unto thee neno hilo litafanyika kwa sababu yako and the light shall shine upon thy ways na mwangaza utaangaza katika njia yako the bible says also in uh, in in second king chapter 7 biblia nasema pia wa falme wa pili sura ya 7 there was a great famine in the land of samaria kulikuwa na njaa kubwa sana katika nchi ya samaria and the man of god by the name prophet elisha na mtumishi wa mungu ambaye ni nabii elisha he rose up and declared alisimama na akatoa tangazo made a divine decree alitoa tangazo la kiungu and he said tomorrow akasema kesho there will be plenty there will be food in the land kutakuwa na chakula cha kingi katika nchi and to cut that short the bible says kufupisha biblia inasema there was plenty food in the land alikuwa na chakula kingi he made that declaration alitoa tangazo la kiungu in the same kings chapter second king chapter 2 katika hicho kitabu tu sura ya pili and the verse 19 to verse 21 stalwe 19 hadi 21 there is a great attack in the land of jericho kuna shambulizi kubwa sana katika nchi ya yeliko people were dying often watu walikuwa wanakufa kila mara sicknesses were devouring people magonjwa yanawaangusha watu hindrances were the end of the day samahani hindrances vikwazo vilikuwa kila wakati Barrenness was prevailing. Utasa ulikuwa unawazidia. The man of God speaks right there. Mtumishi wa Mungu akaongea pale. And they made some prophetic declarations. Akatoa matangazo ya kinabii. And the Bible says he went to the source of the water. Na Biblia inasema alikwenda kwenye chemichemi za maji. He opened up his mouth saying. Akafungua kinywa chake akasema, I have healed this water. Nimeponya maji haya. And the Bible says. Na Biblia inasema, He said I have healed this water. Alisema nimeyaponya maji haya. There will not be any more death. Akutapatikana kifo tena. There will not be any more barrenness. Akutapatikana utasa tena. And the Bible says to cut it short. Na Biblia inasema nifupishe. The water remains healed to this day. Maji yale yalipona tangu siku ile hadi leo. According to the decree of the word of Elisha that is spoke. Kulingana na tangazo la neno la Elisha lilo nena. Now what is a decree? Je, tangazo la kiungo ni nini? Write this down. Andika. What is a decree? Tangazo la kiungo ni nini? A decree literally a decree. Yaani hili tangazo kiki maana ya juju. It is an official order. Ni amri 
rasmi. Yeah, thank you. It is an official honor that as the force of law. Yani ni amri ya kiserikali ambayo ina 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 inashikiliwa na sheria. Thank you. And decree is an official honor. Yani tangazo hili ni tangazo la kisheria a, la kiserikali hivi um, and decree ama tangazo yes a decree is an official order that as the force of law Yani a, tangazo tangazo yeah. ni andiko limetoka kwa serikali mm-hmm. la kirasmi Yes it is an official order Ni tangazo la kiserikali It is not just an order Sio, sio sheria tu. But it's not just an order. Si kanuni tu. But it is enforced by the law. Lakini imeshikiliwa na sheria ya nchi. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Now how many know that the word of God is God law? Wangapi mnajua neno la Mungu ni sheria Mungu? The word of God is the law of God. Neno la Mungu ni sheria Mungu. The word of God is the law of God. Neno la Mungu ni sheria ya Mungu. The book of Joshua chapter 1. Kitabu cha Yoshua sura ya kwanza. Verse 8 the Bible says. Sala 8 Biblia inasema. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Yoshua sura ya kwanza mstari wa 8. Book of the law. Hiki kitabu cha sheria. Thank you. This book of the law. Hiki kitabu cha sheria. So another name of the Bible is the book of the law. Jina lingine la Biblia ni kitabu cha sheria. So God tells Joshua. Kwa Mungu anamwambia Yoshua. This book of the law. Hiki kitabu cha sheria. Shall not depart from your mouth. Kisiondoke kinywani chako. But you shall mend it. Utakiwaza in it day and the night. Ukiwaza usiku na mchana. You shall observe to do according to all that which is written in it. Uwe makini kuzingatia kila kilichoandikwa ndani yake. Then by so doing you shall make your way prosperous. Basi kwa kufanya hivyo utajitajirisha. So when you are to divine decrees. Kwa hivyo unaposhika matangazo ya kiungo. You open a door to do well. Una jifungulia mlango wa kutajirika. So divine decrees. Kwa hivyo matangazo ya kiungo. Leads to prosperity. Yanakuletea utajiri. Wave your hand somebody. Mkono <laughs> wako. Wave your hand say divine decrees. Sema matangazo ya kiungo. Opens a door for prosperity. Yanafungua mlango wa fanaka. I am standing here to declare. Simama hapa kutangaza. You will not be stuck in life. Hautakwama maisha. As you hear this word. Unaposikia ile neno. You will progress. Utasonga mbele. Your children will progress. Watoto wako watasonga mbele. Your people will progress. Watoto wenu watasonga mbele. Your business will progress. Biashara yako itasonga mbele. Your finances will be better. Pesa zako zitakuwa bora. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4. Kitabu cha Mwalimu sura ya 8 mstari wa 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse Verse 4. Kitabu cha Mwalimu. Let us hear. Hebu tusikie. What is happening here? Where the word of a king is, there is what? Power. Palipo na neno la mfalme kuna nguvu. Why? Kwa nini? The word of a king is a law. Kitabu uh, neno la mfalme ni sheria. Please, are we together? Kila mmoja nipungie mkono tabadhali. Now listen. The reason as to why people can play with the ones of a President Ruto. Kile kinafanya watu wachezee maneno ya Rais Ruto. Or President Kenyatta. Ama Rais Kenyatta. Or whoever Moi Kibaki. Ama Moi au Kibaki. Do you know why? Unajua ni kwa nini? Our leaders are not kings. Viongozi wetu si wafalme. They are presidents. Hao ni marais. Presidents. Marais are democratically elected. Wamechaguliwa na watu wengi. Kwa wingi, kwa kura, sorry. Actually they say, Wanasema, people have got power. Watu ndiyo wako na ngufu. They can suck you. Wanaweza kukufuta kazi. That's why honorable Raila has the audacity of doing demonstration. Diyo maana um, mweshimiwa Raila hako na ujasiri wa kufanya maandamano. But if the president of Kenya, the leader is a king. Lakini ikiwa hile kiongozi yange kwa mfalme. Akisema non-demonstration. Aki au gogotema andamano. That is a law. Hiyo ni sharia. 
you play with that you are dead ukicheza na hiyo unakufa wewe so when 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 a king speaks wakati mfalme ameongea it is a law ni sheria when a king rises up in the morning wakati mfalme ameamka asubuhi and he says the, the land of this territory akauga gontogoko is mine ne gwakwa nobody can claim as that i did onagote omba kuuga ne kwawe I one time went to South Africa Lesotho uh, nation. Kuna wakati nienda South Africa Lesotho. Lesotho is a small nation. Lesotho ni nchi ndogo. Inside the Republic of South Africa. Iko ndani ya nchi ya South Africa. It is led by a king. Inaongozwa na mfalme. They call them Moshoeshoe. Sema Moshoeshoe. Moshoeshoe 1. Moshoeshoe 1. Nikasikia Moshoeshoe 1 walikufa kwa ajari ya barabara. Kuna Moshoeshoe 2. Si sahihi ni Moshoeshoe God. Now they are kings. Kuna wao ni wafalme. They are kings. Wao ni wafalme. In Lesotho you don't no one owns a land. Lesotho hakuna mtu ana shamba anasema ni lake. The land is for the king. Shamba lote nchi yote ni ya mfalme. Akiamua kuchimba kizima katikati hapa, atachimba hapo. Apanga kwenda kizima katikati na uwe kwenda ni. Sema mosho mosho. Mosho mosho. Yo kama za mwambie mosho mosho. is not a president Mungu sio rais His word is a law Neno lake ni sheria When he speaks Anapoongea Yeah the ura bekete mananuma na tete ya The spiritual divine policemen Yaani mapolisi wa kiungu They are deployed Wanatumwa kazi To enforce that word Kufanyiza kazi lile neno That's why when we declared to mama sh- mama, mama, mama Kevin. Kwa mama Kevin. When the doctor, the Indian senior doctor. Wakati madaktari wakubwa wa India. And he said. Walikuwa wamesema heart. Moyo wake. As a whole. Una shimo. It has enlarged. Na umekuwa mkubwa. There is too much fluid around it. Na maji ni mengi umeuzunguka. And she came to the office crying. Akaja ofisini akilia. 12 years ago. Miaka 12 imepita. We just made that declaration. Tulitoa tangazo. It was not human decree. Haikuwa tangazo la mtu. But I remember I said. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Umepona kwa jina la Yesu. She proceeded to Kenya the hospital. Akaenda hospitali ya Kenya. She met other my the doctors akutana madaktari wengine wakubwa one of the doctors was doctor gikonyo mmoja alikuwa doctor gikonyo the doctor of the former president kibaki daktari aliyemtibu rais wa zamani also did some scanning pia yakafanya uchunguzi wakamwangalia wakauliza no ugire that your heart has a home no ugire nkole ya kwenda your heart has enlarged roho yako ni kubwa and your heart has got some fluid all around na moyo wako uko na maji and they said Kasema your heart is as, as, as healthy like that one of her baby Moyo wako ni salama kama mtoto mdogo That testimony is there Ushuda She gave that testimony in the morning Alitoa ile ushuda asubuhi You can listen the message in the morning Unaweza sikiza asubuhi She has the papers Ako na makaratasi The report iko hapa chukchuka general The report iko chukchuka general But there is God in heaven Kama kuna Mungu mbinguni Who made that decree Alitoa tangazo And when the decree was pronounced Na tangazo lilipotolewa Power was activated Nguvu ilifanyizwa kazi Today she is as Arabia as a baby Leo ana afya I want to touch your neighbor. And tell your neighbor thank you. Okay, mwambie your neighbor. There is a one for me. My life will never be the same. There is a word for me. There is a one for me. Today I did not come with a sermon. I came with a decree. I came with the declarations. And declaration number one. Write this number one quickly. Declaration number one. God will cause somebody here to enjoy to enjoy supernatural release kuachiliwa kwa njia ya juu kutoka kila pande there will be release kutakuwa na kuachiliwa release kuachiliwa release 
of jobs release of money release of establishment release of breakthroughs release of your favor release of that thing you are praying for there is a supernatural release I declare anything that belongs to you anything that has been stuck Kimekaliwa. After this, there will not be a release. Are you not believing this? There will not be a release. There will be a release. There will be a release. In the name of Jesus, your blessing in Achiliwa. Your blessing in Achiliwa. Your blessing in Achiliwa. Your blessing in Achiliwa. Your maisha mema in Achiliwa. Pisa yesu nduru na vigele. Ingele chesu na ba. Nankemi Nataka wampia mwenzako. Supernatural release kuachiliwa kwa vitu kiungo Let me give you a scripture Nikupe andiko Isaiah 49 Isaiah 49 Let's hear the law of the king what the, what the word of the king is saying Hebu tusikie neno la mfalme ninasema nini Verse 24 Mstari 24 What does it say we read together Inasema Shall the prey be taken from the mighty yes or the captives of the righteous being delivered the captives of the righteous where they be delivered mateka wako biashara yako kazi yako mke wako mume wako watoto wako afya yako mateka ya mwenye haki huyu ni mwenye haki lakini vitu zake zimetekwa Mungu anauliza swali mateka ya mwenye haki yataweza kupatikana tena mateka ya Mwenye haki inaweza kuachiliwa ipatikane. Inaweza ikaachiliwa. Inaweza ikakombolewa. Verse 24. 5. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. Let's read together. Hebu tusome. But that says the Lord. Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prey of the terrible being delivered. Why? I will contend with him who contends with you and I will serve your children Amen 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 But that says the Lord that the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered This is the reason God will contend. Bwana atateta. God will kupigana. Bwana atapigana. Na naye pigana na wewe. Na yeye anayepigana na wewe. Today service. Baada ya ibada hii. Mungu anaingia kwa uwanja. Yeye amotonya kibaloni. Mungu anaingia kwa uwanja. Yeye atonye kibaloni. Anaenda kulima kile kinakulima. Adi kolona kile kikolona yegwe. You have to believe. Lazima uamini. Uyo mama kama kuamini sahihi alikuwa alizikwa kitambo. Mami yenu akolo atetikiria akolo atikirwe tena mono. Miwili kwa imevimba blood pressure iko huko. Magolo maimbete na ndaka mihetia. But we serve a God. Lakini tunatumikia Mungu. Who can heal any condition? Anayeweza ponya kila hali. Lift up and say Lord. Bwana. Every blessing. Kila baraka. That has been captured. Ambayo imetekwa. By the devil. Na shetani. Release. Iachiliwe. Release. Iachiliwe. Release. Iachiliwe. Sure amen. Sema amen. Give us job. New living translation. Job 20 verse 15. Ayubu ah. ishirini mstari. I'm giving you what God has said. Na kupatia kile Bwana amesema. In his law. Katika sheria yake. Ah. Can we read together? Tusome pamoja. They will vomit. Watatapi. They were of the sword. Mali walio meza. God. Mungu. Won't let them keep it down. Hawataacha, hawata hataacha waishike, waikae nayo. Whether you like it or there are people here vitu zako zimechikwa you could be very far today Ungekuwa mbali sana leo 
but your breakthroughs have been held captive. Lakini kuna upenyo wako umeshikwa na mtu mateka. But in the name of Jesus. Lakini kwa jina la I stand to declare. Nasimama kutangaza. Vitu zako zinaachiliwa. Nitoshia kwile kelele. Can we read together? They were overmet. The wealth they swallowed. One more time read. They were overmet. The wealth they swallowed. Why? God won't let them keep it down. Ambebe zako ukizikia ni miamia kwangu. Wegu ya mkutamira kwa kwa. Waja kuzema ni luminati. Vitu zangu zimeanza kutapikwa. Nitashia kwa shamba ya kurekeza. Ukizikia ni miamia. Wegu ya mkutamira. Kwa shamba yangu. Mbondani wa kwa. Wacha maswari mingi. My things are getting vomited. Nini toshia kwa iko rekelelio. Mami vitu zako zina vomitiwa. Zina tapikwa. Wa! Zina tapikwa. Mungu anasema hata achilia anduya zimeze tena. Ateleka. Anduye kala na shionda. Lift up your hand everybody. Kila moja inuwa mkono wako. Say my father. My father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every blessing. Every blessing. The enemy has swallowed. Be vomited. Be vomited. Be vomited. Pray for that a second. Pray, 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 pray. Pray that prayer. Pray better. Pray better. Pray better. Pray, Karu Shata. I wish somebody can be violent here. Somebody can can be more vigilant, be, be more active, alive, vigorous, vivid. Karabakatos, a kutupata tata, a rekete kete kete, a brando lobo godoba, a kutumana na kutupata tete, zuru pukutu kutu kutu kutu. Pray. Pray with a loud voice. Pray with a loud voice. Le paranu shataya. In the name of Jesus. Priya yesu vigele gele. Number two. Declaration number two. Tangazo la pili la kiungu. Gold. We will send appointed people but for divine achievements, stroke accomplishments. Bwana atatuma watu walio amuliwa kwa sababu ya shughuli ya kiungu ilio agizwa. For you, divine achievements. Kwa sababu ya kuweza kupata mapatu ya kiungu. And accomplishments na kuweza kutimiza mambo ya na kuweza kwa mambo ambayo unafaa kutimiza in other words kwa maneno mengi god is sending aid for you to achieve and accomplish what you supposed to accomplish bwana nakutumia msaada ili uweze kutimiza unayofaa kutimiza may you say amen and amen to that amen 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 first chronicles 14 ha i love this one Mambo ya nyakati wa kwanza. First Chronicles 14. We read together. Mambo ya nyakati wa kwanza sura 14. Then King Hiram of of Tyre sent messengers to David along with the cinder timber and the stone mansions ama watu wa kujenga wakitumia yani ma experts kwa ujenzi wa mawe. Yes, stone mansions and the carpenters to build them a palace. Na Hiram falume watilo akatuma wajumbe kwa Daudi akawatuma akatuma mierezi na waashi na maseremala ili wamjengee nyumba. The next verse. Mstari mwingine. And David realized. Daudi akajua. That the Lord and confirmed them as a king of Israel and and, uh, and, and greatly blessed him his kingdom I mean for the sake of his people is well. Daudi akajua kwamba Bwana amemweka imara ili amiliki juu ya Israeli kwa kuwa miliki yake imeinuka kwa ajili ya watu wake Israeli. Okay, give us give us another Okay, that one. Now, the Bible says, so David knew. 
Daudi alijua. That the Lord and established him. Bwana alikuwa amemthibitisha. When he saw King Hiram. Alipoona mfalme Hiram. Amen. Ametuma mafundi wa kujenga. Akomotomela mabundi makomo wake. Na wajakuja kuanza kumuitisha materials. Na mateshe tena kemwela katuna kila mtoto wake. Amekuja na materials. Mashe tena intoshi yao. Intoshi yao shia kwaka. Wamekuja wamebeba. Anybody amejenga hapa? Mtu anaka hapa. Anajua. Anajua. Kama kuna kitu sumbua kwa kujenga. Akola kwa kitu kisumbua kwa kini. Ni pesa ya mafundi? Pesa ya mabundi na materials. Na materials. Kweli ya marongo. Umakana rongo. Kwanza mafundi. Mona mabundi. Kwanza anataka kanda za moko. Au ana kuranga njioni. Kwa hivyo it's daily. Mama Angela malipa kwa kipoi. Abadari architect mimi yeye kwa sawa anangojea mshahara anangoja end month ana kwa me save something wa koroga daily na rais uko na mjengo kama hii so daily kwa hivyo kila siku materials na kama kuna materials hawata kuja na kula kuti na into matesha daudi daudi mungu akamtumia dai amotomele mafundi mafundi architects na pia materials wanaintoshia kwaka Daudi alipoona hivyo Daudi akuona huko akajua definitely amenya kwa riyama God has established me Gaina ni ambandete Is somebody this house Kuna mtu yako hapa ndani ya nyumba hii Mimi nakutabiria mwaka huu Nengo kulathira mwako The help you need Msaada una coming Unakuja <laughs> The help you need is coming. The help you need is coming. Lift up your hands and say, "The help I need is coming." God is sending you people loaded with what you need. You will not struggle. Some of you, the help you need is the confirmation of the promotion letter. Di barua ya kukudhibitisha kwamba umepandishwa cheo. Here I sent message to David and see the trees with marshals and the carpenters to build a my house. Help is coming. Msaada unakuja. Some of you the help you need. Wengine msaada mnaohitaji. Is right people around you. Not betrayers. Sio wasaliti. They are coming my dear. Wanakuja. Deliver. Amen. For that second say Lord has sent this. Arakisha. Waje fanyike kwa haraka. In the name of Jesus. Lord has sent. Lord has sent. In the name of Jesus. Kapaka tukupuruku tupanetea. Number 3. Number 3. Number 3. Ah. Actually, kwa hiyo point ya pili, also ongezea Second Chronicles 12:22 to 23. Ongezea tu for your own notes. Inasema 22 day by day God sent people to help David day by day verse 22 siku 22. Siku baada ya siku. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 
not be for everybody, but there is somebody here. You hear the testimony soon. Number three, there will be grace for ease in breaking every opposition and hindrance. Yes. Yes. Every opposition Kila and hindrance. Kila <laughs> Isaiah 45 verse 1. Isaiah surya ya 45 mstari wa kwanza. Isaiah. Isaiah 45 verse 1. Mstari wa kwanza. Just felt something. Na hisi jambo. Allow me to get you a hold of your heart sir. You might be surprised. Baba Sophie, I just heard that this verse God is addressing you as Cyrus. Thus says to the Lord, I mean, that says the Lord to his, to his anointed to Cyrus whose right hand right hand whose right hand thank you have held Nimeushika. to subdue nations Kutiisha mataifa before him bele yake to lose kulegeza the hand of kings the un of your wafalme and to open na kufungua milango before him the double doors bele yake hata milango you see ya kuili brother boaz and uh morris kenyu go ahead and close that that door just close. Just I'm doing an example. I want to show you an example of double doors. Nataka kuonyesha mfano wa malango. Ukiwa ndani. Now listen. Can you see? Naona? That is a double door. Now close now. Funga sasa. Yes. You see? That door is heavy. Wao mlango wa 100 kg. Mlango mzito una kilo kama 100 hivi. But the Lord is saying. Lakini Bwana anasema I'll get hold of your heart. But the power is too much. Hey! I prophesy every double door that has been closed for you and that is anointing the double doors are opening 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 go rejoicing sir not appear in the name of Jesus every double door that has been set for you not to enter for you not to enter by the power of the Holy Ghost the double doors are opening somebody do like this the double door Malango. Somebody stood like this. Uh, I hope you are believing what you are hearing. Mamini una, una, una amini. Kila unasiki. Decrease. Matangazi. Ya kiungu. I'm going ahead. But I'm not leaving you behind. I'm holding your right hand. When God holds your right hand, everything becomes right. Because you are holding You see, a right hand is any of your heart. That is, that is, that is held. You see, the grammar people told us right, left. But if this one is right, this one should be wrong. 
When God holds your right hand, Mungu akishika mkono wako wa kuume. Right. Kila kitu kinakuwa sawa. And there is nothing wrong in your life anymore. Hapa suit. I prophesy. Everything in your life will be right. Kila kitu maishani kitakuwa shwari. Hakuna kasoro. The man at the gate of the, cha- the church. The man at the gate of the church. The yule, man yule, at the gate yule, of the church. Mtu aliyekuwa mlangoni wa kanisa. God beautiful. Unaitwa mrembo. The Bible says. Anasema Biblia. Peter. Peter. Picked him by the right hand. Alimwenua kwa mkono wa kuume. That does not mean it is the maybe the hand you think is any of the hand. Haimaanishi ni mkono gani? Inaweza kuwa ni wowote. But what it means by right? Lakini kile kinamaanisha mkono wa kuume. He activated a grace to make sure everything is right. Alifanyiza kazi neema kuhakikisha kila kitu kishwari. When the right hand was picked Wakati mkono na ofao uliguzwa. This is the right, eh? Kwako. Hata hizi yo wrong. When the right hand was held. Wakati mkono ndio sawa ulishikwa. The left that and the issue. Miguu ilikuwa na shida. They all became right. Yote ikawa sawa. Miguu ikaanza kazi. Maguru maambelia kotie. Jesus is seated on the right hand side of the Father. Why? As long as he is seated there, everybody in him will enjoy rightness. Yesu amekaa mahali kuume kwa baba ili kila mtu afurahie mazuri. You cannot be in Christ and end up in hell. Uwezi kuwa ndani ya Kristo alafu ujipate jehanamu. Because everything is right. Sababu kila kitu kiko shwari. In the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. I receive an anointing to enjoy right Rightness all round. Usawa kila mahali. Sio hivi. Besha iko lakini unaona ile Besha ile bora lakini mlimo. Besha hero iko lakini pesa nazo ziko hivi. Afya ipo lakini pesa nazo hakuna. Muki yako lakini naye kukupatia furaha iko hivi. Mtumia ile bora lakini gikeno gitepo. Mume hapa lakini bila naongea vibaya hivi. Monte Molume alipo lakini kwa aliana ae. No balance. Hakuna balance. Kwa aliana ae. No balance. Inua mkono wako sema I receive grace from balance. Napokea neema ya kusawazishwa. Ah. Amen. Why did God open double door? Kwa nini Mungu akafungua ule mlango wa kuili? Double means balance. Inamaanisha kuna kusawazishwa. Equilibrium is chonjo. Kila kitu kishwari, kila kitu kisawa sawa. Double talks of balance. Sawa Left sawa. right means balance. Inamaanisha kila kitu sawa sawa. This side this side. Upande huu na upande huu. That is your portion. Hiyo ni sahihi. Number four. Yeah. Grace for healing and restoration. Neema ya kuponywa na kurejeshwa. You are receiving that as you live here right now. Unaipokea unapondoka hapa. Grace for healing and restoration. Neema ya uponyaji na urejesho. Grace for healing and restoration. Neema ya uponyaji na urejesho. Jeremiah 17. Yeremia sura ya 10 ya 30:17. Jeremiah 17. Yeremia sura ya 10 ya 30 mstari wa 17. I will restore health to you. Takurejeshea afya yako and heal you of your wounds. Na nikuponye vindonda vyako. Nothing kills people like wounds. Hakuna kitu kinaua watu kama manjeraha, vindonda. And the most dangerous wounds are not the visible ones. Na vindonda vibaya zaidi si vile vinaonekana. Are the hidden ones. Lakini vile vimefichwa. That's why Jesus said ndiyo sababu Yesu alisema giving his mission statement alisema I have come to heal the broken hearted the broken hooded I mean the the the, the hooded in heart I mean the hooded in heart Yesu anapotoa hotuba kuhusu mwito wake duniani anasema nimekuja kuponya mioyo iliyojeruhiwa Watu wengi kanisani wako kwa mavazi wako sawa. Anto wengi kanidhani na kumuona mekileta wega. Kwa suti wa menyonga kabisa. Suti ile kumbega sawa mono. Viatu wako nazo. Ila tu ile mbega. But nothing hoods. Lakini ndani ilonda. Your healing is now. 
Mfanyaji wako umefika. Your healing is now. Mfanyaji wako umefika. Your healing is now. Mfanyaji wako umefika. There are many people I can sense when I wrote that down, I felt it in my spirit. Kuna watu wengi nilipokuwa naandika nilihisi ndani ya moyo wangu. Woods. Vindonda. Broken relationships. Maurafiki yaliyovunjika vunjika. Broken promises. Ahadi zilizofutiliwa zikavunjika. Broken families. Familia zimevunjika vunjika. Betrayals. Usaliti. Betrayals. Usaliti. Rejections. Kukataliwa. Emotional tortures. Kukupatiwa maumivu ya kihisia. That have learned to hoods. Maumivu ya naya kuletia vidonda. Whether it is a physical hood or an emotional or spiritual hood. Kiwe ni kidonda cha kuonekana ama cha kihisia au cha kiroho. Is your healing? Leo unapata upanyaji. Somebody wherever you are. Behind there. Uko nyuma. In the midst of this house. Wherever you are. Bila mahali. I stretch the healing hand of God. Let there be healing all over. Huwa na upanyaji. Let there be healing all over. Huwa na upanyaji. Let there be healing all over. Huwa na upanyaji. Let there be healing all over. Upanyaji. Let there be healing all over. Upanyaji kila mahali. Ka de 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 let there be healing all over. I declare restoration. I will restore. Head of it to you. And I will heal. Your hoods. Says the Lord. It means it's a decree. It is the wand of a king. Says the Lord. I will heal you. Of your hoods. I will restore your health. I will heal you of your hoods. And I will restore your health. Why? You that was called an outcast. You that was rejected. Can you see that? When people are injected, they develop hoods. When a wife is rejected by the husband, ama detende wa unyama na buwanake, she eventually get wounded. When a man is betrayed by the wife, he gets wounded. When somebody goes through a traumatizing experience in a business or in whatever, a wound is established. Rejections set hoods in people. But thou says the Lord, you that is God and outcast, you that is God rejection, you that is God betrayed, you that is God the oppressed. The other day a young girl came to my office. She is a graduate from Jaikwat. Dead commerce. She succeeded so well. But for over like five years now, she is stomaching. She is struggling. When she entered my office, she just said three words. She said just three words. And she went silent. She said depressed. I, I am frustrated. I am hopeless. She went quiet. A commute. I can do a depression in Mekalia. But to God be the glory. By the time she was leaving the office, you could see brightness of her face. I am prophesying here. Anybody in this church. You have already been hooded because of the challenges of life. I am here to act 
caught the word of God to declare thus says the Lord your hair author is getting black your hair author is getting restored your hair author is getting restored I is of indonda zamoyo zina pona leo kila moja jiwekele mikono kwa kifu ajako jiwekele mikono kwa kifu ajako nataka wambia buwana buwana ni mponye buwana ni mponye buwana ni mponye kuna mwingini hapa kuna mtu mebeba umebeba kwa moyo wako hiyo ni ugonjwa hiyo ni ugonjwa achilia same same hiyo ni ugonjwa mpendwa same tamadhali achilia wengine umejuruiwa na you are fellow believer wengine hapa kanisani mwenzako amekuudhi na ukumebeba vindonda leo unapona leo unapona leo unapona same huyo ndanda same huyo brother same huyo mama same huyo papa nataka kila moja lilia buwana pia buwana niponye Hapia bwana niponye Kanisa linapona Hakuna kubebana Same mwenzako Same mbrada yako Same sister yako Na ikiweze kana Leo Banda ya ibanda Hata kama ni SMS Mwambia ni mekusame Ukiweza kumfikia Mpatia mpatia buu Mkumbatie Mwambie I forgive you Mwambie I forgive you I hear the Lord Anaponya watu kwa inyumba Wengine vindonda Sio za kuongwa na miti Ni vindonda vya maneno Ni vindonda vya kuya kumizwa I minister healing now Inatangaza uponyaji I may not expound but God pray with it grace for increase all round God will increase you God will increase your income God will give you ideas that when you put them down there will be uncommon returns Bwana atakupatia mawazo ambayo ukiyatendeza kazi atakuletea faida sio ya kawaida. Businessmen in this house get ready. Wanabiashara ndani ya nyumba hii kweni tayari. Your dark season is over. Wakati wenu wa giza umefika mwisho. I will repeat again. Tarudia. Businessmen and the women in this house. Watu wa biashara ndani ya nyumba hii kweni tayari. Anyone tuning online wherever you could be. Na kila mtu anayefuata kwenye mtandao. Your dark season is over. Wakati wako wagizo umefika mwisho. Exodus 1 verse 12. Kutoka sura ya kwanza mstari 12. The more they afflicted them. Jinsi walivyowatesa. The more they multiplied. Ndivyo walivyoongezeka. The darkness of the day. Giza ya ile siku. Do not subdue their light. Haikushinda mwangaza wao. The more they afflicted the people of God. Jinsi walivyowatesa watu wa Mungu. The more they flourished. Divyo watu wale walifanikiwa. The more they Divyo waliongezeka. Marakata kadagadagada. Amen amen. Number six, is it? 
number 6 declaration number 6 tangaza la kiongo la namba ya 6 you will operate under heavy anointing and the grace to attract good things that you have desired to have in the past <laughs> i'll repeat again Tarudia. you will operate under heavy anointing and the grace utafanya kazi chini yanayemakubwa na upako that you have desired ambayo umekuwa ukitamani okay oh uh, okay uh, let me repeat i'm sorry Tarudia. you will operate under every anointing and the grace utafanya kazi chini ya upako mkubwa na neema to attract ili kuvutia good things vitu vizuri good things vitu vizuri that you have desired ambavyo umekuwa ukitamani to have in the past umekuwa ukivitamani hapa nyuma what some of you, the things you have always been chasing vitu ambavyo umekuwa ukifukuzana navyo you will begin walking in the reality of them utaanza kuviona Deuteronomy 6:10 right this one Kumbu kumbu la talati Saba say good things Vitu vizuri Shout good things Vitu vizuri So it shall be when the Lord your God brings you is the land of which he saw to your fathers to Abraham and Isaac Jacob and to give you land and beautiful cities Now give us NIV version Uh-huh Makusha kataka bakataka to give you okay lunch and flourishing cities you did not build the next verse houses filled with all kinds of good things it is in your bible amen mungu hataki ukae kwa nyumba iko na njagi zimevunjika mikono sijui su damozi zilifanyika njagi kubwa i pray grace of good things neema ya vitu vizuri sasa useme amen wewe ni kwetu wewe sasa mosi rimaliza iliisha ndani kitambo lakini umeweka hapo maana unasema inaweka uji mbema zako from today kama monde Mungu anajaza nyumba yako na vitu vizuri. Gai yale shulia nyumba yako na intombeka. Kuna vitu tuna Ndini nilituambia vitu vizuri ni za shetani. Ashindo kabisa. Ndini atelia intombeka ni za shetani. Mashindo. Sasa Mungu mwenyewe anasema houses which are filled with all kinds. Ah! Nyumba zimejaa vitu vyema vyote. Tio TV mnashikana na mikono mna fast kabla muhakisha ili maana mko sure kama itabumilia kuona news mpaka inafika wa chak na yes inua mkono sema nyumba yangu nyumba ya kwa itajaa vitu vizuri itajaa vitu vizuri in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu this let me tell you believe it i pray Naomba that your house will be filled itaja with the good things vitu vizuri e wasafi e wasafi e afresha na iko hata hiyo ni kitu mzuri ona kiuna gani tukiega nyumba inanuka kama e afresha na nguruwe ndio wanakaanga bedroom no sema fresh fresh nyumba isinuke you see kuna vitu ndini litufunza paka unakuta mkristo awangi because unaweza panguza anointing no ni mungu wako anasema nita make sure mnaishi katika nyumba zilizojaa vitu vizuri hiyo ndio portion yako pokea hiyo mujiza pokea hiyo baraka pokea uwezo wa kujaza nyumba na vitu vizuri say amen 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 kuna room unaweza fika uulize kutafika asubuhi ili niende because hewa iko contaminated na kuombea grace for freshness hiyo neema ai aduta itapita tuko kwa hoteli naomba ta nyumba zetu siwe na vitu mzuri receive that grace fresh Amen. Ai. Let me tell you whatever you celebrate you attract. 
Desire good things, you will attract good things. Desire good houses, you will live in them. Tamani nyumba nzuri utaishi ndani yake. Nyumba zilizo ja. Feel, sema ja. Nyumba shesho lete intombega. Uliza mwenzako tuongee ukweli. Unapenda vitu mzuri? Unapenda vitu vizuri. I know unaweza kuja fika hapa lakini unapenda vitu mzuri? Niwende tena intombega. Na kuombea itakuwa hivyo. Amen. Lakini let me tell you serious though, anza to make sure hata kama ni kidogo ni kizuri. Unaweza shindo kununua ya freshener lakini osha nyumba. Amemba zako unaweza shindo kununua ya freshener. Na wale mwana kugula ya freshener. Osha nyumba. Tambia nyumba weka. Kama umeo kama umeo leo hata mzee aziende kwa wenyewe mpaka aanze kun Akikufika akikaribia kwako. Unaweza hai Kakwenda miruki ya kaliyate ya. Pani kuna hera gani ya pa? Kuna nuki aja? No. I'm a marriage counselor. That's why I'm talking this. I am multidimension. I'll teach you everything. <laughs> that, that day my bishop said, Reverend friend, you have something about families. And I said, that's why I had a many two members who were in Nairobi. That day there was a meeting somewhere. He told me, go and handle family points. There is something in you. I'm going to say, I'll carve his wood. Now you're going to come here. Now you're going to come here. Now you're going to come here. What? You're going to come fresh. You're going to come here. Now you're going to come here. Excellence in the pesa. Apana ni attitude. Ubora si pesa ni vile unaona mambo na akili. Sasa ujawaka leo maana kuna barindi. Uliza mwanzo kwa nani kwa nani natuona? The last one. Ya mwisho. Grace for freshness. Neema. Hiyo <laughs> ni declaration ya freshness neema ya opia let me tell you maybe you may ask you may say maybe kwa ubiri wa nyona kujaga wa under vest wako na kaatiti undi amembi akiubiri asima yende a change akiubiri akiubiri asubuhi rada na kuja na nguwa tofauti soma bibiria have no time kuna mari bina sema kwamba priest afai kumuka njasho It is in your Bible. Kuhani ya fai kunuka jasho. Ambia mazako, this church we have scriptures grounded. Tumepando kwenye mandiko. Nena kubiri evening service. Sista ubiri na hii. Si maringo. No. Sita hii kwenda ni kikuombea njioni. Ni kikaribia hivi. Unanza kupato na oma ya jasho. It is. Please, in your own time, look for that scripture. Watu wa minda wa kita watayona. Membi na vete kaso numbers. Kuani afai kunuka jasho. Nasikia kada? Mm. Manji. Afai. Na vile tunasoit. Na wewe unasema haki niko sawa. So because the way ni sweat ya asubuhi, nime sweat saa hii, then ni sweat revival. Nitakaa kama senge by jioni. So si kujifanya, si kuonyesha watu tuko na nguo mingi. It is the Bible. Ni Biblia inasema hivyo. Hey. Can you see that? Ezekiel 44. Actually, kuna ingine ya Rebetika, but kuna hii. Ezekiel 44, 18. They are to wear linen, carbons, and their hands and linen and clothes. Nothing that makes them sweat. You see? Salvation says that they sweat. Levitica 16, 4. Yeah. Let's give them. Aha. He shall put the holy linen tunic and the linen trousers on his body. He shall be guarded with the linen shirts and with the linen turban. He shall be hot ironed. Yes, these are holy garments. Therefore, he shall wash his body in water and put them hot. Now, you read the whole of that. You realize the reason in the coin as a mechanic. A five kunuka dasho. A tebate kunuka yati gina. Ambia mwanzako sana nimejua kwa nini pastor anabandishanga nguo. 
sio malingo sio kuonyesha tuko na nguo mingi kwa hivyo ombea pasa kuwa na nguo mingi because ana kazi ni ngumu hii lakini neema iko neema iko Psalm 92 leave that alone Zaburi 92 I am a full gospel preacher I preach everything even what you have never heard As long as it is in the Bible we will bring it on. Psalm 92 verse 13. Zaburi 92:13. The Bible says, "Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of our God." Continue. Waliopandwa katika nyumba ya Bwana watanawili katika malango ya Bwana. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh, fresh, fresh and flourishing. Bado watazaa matunda hata katika uzee watakuwa wapya ama wataonyesha uchanga na bado wanaweri The meaning of the word fresh mean it simply means they shall be useful Lile neno inamaanisha watakuwa watakuwa bado na nguvu ya kutumika Even in the old age Hata katika uzee they shall be fresh watakuwa fresh they shall still be relevant bado watakuwa wanatumika they shall still be useful bado watakuwa wanatumika lift up your hand everybody i am ya. praying the name of jesus may you be fresh amen declaration tangazo declaration tangazo of the last declaration is the grace to be fresh ni neema ya kuwa Autakuwa outdated. Utakuwa be useful. Utakuwa mtu wa kuwa mikono yako say Lord. Bwana. I receive grace. To be fresh. I receive grace for freshness. I receive grace for freshness. Pokea hiyo mujiza. Pokea hiyo baraka. In the name of the Lord. Kama wewe ni mke utakuwa productive. Utakuwa useful. Kama wewe ni mzee wa wenyewe utakuwa productive. Utakuwa useful. Kama wewe ni mwanabiashara utakuwa useful. Utakuwa productive. Utakuwa useful. Pokea hiyo neema ya kuwa useful, ya kuwa fresh. Amen. Say aloud amen. Amen. Hi. Is all round is urahisi kila mahali. Breaking limitations. Urahisi kila mahali kuvunja vitu help us watu waliotumwa kusaidieni hey supernatural release kuachiliwa vitu kiungu great for health and restoration neema ya ya afya nzuri na urejesho increase all around ongezewa kila mahali anointing to attract good things upako wa kuvuta vitu vizuri kuna mtu hapa Mungu anakupatia uwezo wa kushika kile umekuna tamani kule na mtu ngai huko kuna nkelo hapo tu wako yana na intaini weli la geria and finally na mwisho great to be fresh Neema ya kuwa mpya. Biashara yako itakuwa fresh. Biashara ya kuu ekolwe mpya. Watu watakuwa nasema ni kama ameanza tu. Ah. Anto makona atakao ambeleria. Kuna mtu Mungu anakupatia neema ya upya. Kuli na mtu ngai yako kupa neema ya kwepea. Sabore shaul hallelujah. Hallelujah. I bless every one of you. Abariki kila mmoja. As you live here. Hapo ndoka hapo. Those prophetic declarations. Hizo aya matangazo ya kila working for you. Yanakufanyia kazi. Are 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 working for you. Receive the breakthrough now. Hey.